Hello everybody, Chris O'Shea from welcomesnow.com and today we're talking flex on your snowboard. So, choosing your flex, what does it do? What you should be looking for? Can be a little bit confusing for some people, so we're just gonna run through some boards and flex ratings. Start with the Battalion Chaser. This board is a three out of 10. 10 will be the stiffest, one will be the softest. So a three is quite a soft board. They do make softer, the Battalion Disasters, like down to like a two. Um, a board that's softer is going to absorb bumps and just be more forgiving and easier. So if you're just starting out, probably want to start out on a softer sort of feeling board, something like the Chaser. Um, it's just going to be more forgiving and easier. And that kind of goes across the board with boots as well. If you're just starting out, don't ride a super stiff boot, like, because super stiff boots, they're gonna give you a lock feel, and you're kinda already a little bit stiff, and you know, you're learning something new, your body's adjusting, so you don't really need stiff boots. You wanna, you wanna be able to relax and learn, so you don't want a really stiff setup. You want everything to be loose and goosey. And it's also a personal preference on how much flex you like um, in a board. So plenty of people really like a soft board. So they like to use the mountain and just flex out and do jibs um, and ride a little bit slower. A softer board at speed is gonna, you know, get a little bit of wobble to it. It's not gonna be feel as stable as something that is stiffer. Something that sits in like the medium stiff sort of range. You got your battalion. Evil Twin, five's kinda, five out of 10, it's right in the middle. It's not a super stiff board, it's not a soft board. It feels stable on jumps, but you can still press it. It's kind of the sweet spot, that five out of 10, six out of 10, um, that's what most people are really going for. When you step up from a board like this, you go into some of your stiffer boards, and that's where you sort of come along and you find boards like the Huck Knife and then the Huck Knife Pro, or the Assassin and the Assassin Pro. So they've had a board like this in the line for a really long time. It's that five out of 10. And there's guys out there that are hitting big jumps and riding really, really fast and they just have a lot of power in their riding because they're on a board every day and they're strong and they can handle a stiffer board like the Huck Knife Pro, which is a seven out of 10. So you got five out of 10, seven out of 10. What's gonna happen with when you're going stiffer is the board's not gonna flex as much. So when you come down from a big jump or something like that, the board's gonna be harder to loop out. Plus when you're going at speed, it's not gonna wobble as much. There's just gonna be, and there's gonna be more flex back that comes back, it's more reactive. So when you load up the board to pop as well, that spring back is gonna be more. So a lot of the high end guys will ride really, really stiff boards and like guys that are in the Olympics and just hitting big jumps and stuff, but those guys are on a board all the time and you need to remember that their board control and their ability to manipulate a board just through their strength and balance um, is probably a lot more than most people have. So um, most people will find you can get a board that's too stiff and you're feeling every bump and you just don't have the strength to manipulate it. So keep that in mind, you know, like if you're going for a board that's kind of stiff, it's gonna be, it's gonna take a lot more work in the legs to really make it pop and work. But if you have that strength, 
it's going to send you harder than something that's a softer flexing board. So for me personally, like five, six out of ten flex, that's really, really good. Um, I'm like getting a bit older now. Maybe when I was younger or like if it's like first day and my legs are fresh, it's fun to go ride a stiffer board that has that pop and you can really use it to your ability. But then I, what happens to me is I get into like day two on something like this and I'm a bit sore. That the strength in this board, you know, it, it's just kind of hurting me, you know, where I go something a little bit softer. I'm not working so hard to manipulate the board and ride it and it absorbs bumps a little bit easier. Another thing to consider with flex through, that I've learned through riding lots of different boards at demos, etc., is the flex of a board will change dramatically depending on what binding you put on there and even your boots. So one thing we see in the store a lot, people checking in setups, they might come with a setup that is say a Huckno Pro stiff, powerful board and they've put a low end soft flexing binding. So if you really need to take into account that you've got a stiff enough binding for your board, otherwise if you put a really soft low end binding on a board like this, the board's going to feel even stiffer than what it is. So, and vice versa. So, you know, if you, the stiffer your binding setup is and the stiffer your boot setup is, the easier it is for you to manipulate your board. And that's why you see a lot of guys that ride high end stuff, they're riding really, really stiff, even like full carbon fiber bindings, like crazy stiff bindings and their boots are generally can be a little bit softer, but sort of that they're definitely like that medium sort of range. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping out there for boards. If you're getting a high end board, get medium flexing, medium to high end flexing bindings to go with it. And yeah, hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of help on understanding what you should be looking for. That middle of the range flex is pretty good for most people. Some people like that stiffer high end flex. Um, and then other people, personal preference, will be really good riders, but they just want like something that's noodly. Or maybe it's a second board that they just go out and ride and buttery. Or you, it's your first board and you're still just getting your feet under you. The forgiveness of something that's only a 3 out of 10 is going to be where it's at. So if you have any questions about flex, hit us up on the comments and yeah, find your flex.